This is a video about heat exhaustion. And what better place to do a video about heat exhaustion than in the sun? So I've had to experience a lot this summer um, dealing with heat exhaustion. So I thought I would describe a few facts that a quadriplegic has to go through in this situation. Uh, the normal body, when experiencing too much heat, triggers a sensation that tells the brain to sweat, which allows the body to cool off. And vi vice versa in the cold, uh, when you get too cold, your body just tells you that you're cold and to warm up by drinking fluids or put on something warm. Uh, but in the body of a quadriplegic, this doesn't happen. In each person's body, we have uh, something like a thermostat. But in the body of a quad, the thermostat is broken. So when you're too hot or too cold, you can't feel it, and the body doesn't know this. So what I do um, in these situations is I use time to pay attention to when I have to deal with the temperature. The best way I can describe being too hot is imagine a fresh cup of coffee with a top on it. Um, well, when it's too hot, uh, you would take the lid off and that way it would cool down. That would be like a normal person's body. When you get too hot, you just know to take off your jacket. But uh, for a quadriplegic to cool down after warming up, it's like leaving the top on. It takes much longer. So what happens is the body gets too warm and eventually uh, the blood that goes to your brain gets... Um, for myself, it's best that you just stay out of the heat. Or when you do go in the heat, that you spend a good amount of time in the AC or... Oh man, this sucks. Well, as you could see, I wasn't able to finish that video because it was getting hot and my arms started to give out. My shoulders were burning and, well, that's just what happens sometimes. So here I am back in the heat and uh, I hope you have a little better understanding of what a quadriplegic has to go through when it comes to temperature. See you in the next video.